lot of people ask me to speak about this subject and it's about the movie American Sniper and Chris Kyle. Now, the thing is that um, Clint Eastwood had actually made a few anti-war movies throughout his life and quite good ones too. You can look them up. Well, you've got to remember that Clint Eastwood's getting older now, okay? But not only that, the fact that he made this movie, and yes, it was a typical war propaganda movie, okay? There's no denying that. If you deny that, obviously, you know, the little beans upstairs aren't, aren't working too hard. But um, what happened is, what's happening at the moment is Hollywood at the moment, is, the money is drying up. So when somebody comes to them with a script or an idea for a movie, it has to almost be a 100% winner, okay? Because even the elite aren't throwing good money after bad ideas anymore. And that was half the reason this movie got made. And, of course, because they looks like they're ramping up for another another insurgents into the Middle East and they're trying to get public opinion up and going. And of course it helps um it helps more more kids and they are kids run down to the recruiting office. And it's a shame because usually those kids are from poor socioeconomic backgrounds and you know probably haven't read a book in their lives. And to go and um risk your life for corporations' profits and for a um, for a house in Mallorca for the politicians, it's disgusting. Okay, mind you, people got to understand that when scripts get approved and and their scripts based on war, if the army receives the script, the military, whether it's the Air Force, Navy, or whatever they're going to be using, if they approve the script, um, they actually assist the director with providing certain arms, certain expertise, certain training, okay? So obviously, if that occurs, it's going to be pro-war, okay? And it's going to be a, a propaganda movie to try to get more and more recruits, okay? Um, as to Chris Cole and, um, and his background, whether he was a liar, as I've said, and he had an issue with um, Jesse Ventura, which he did, that's fine, but what do you expect? I mean, what, what, what type of people are going to be joining, joining the military, willing to go to another country to kill somebody that's done nothing to them? You know what I mean? So I don't even want to go into, into the depths of Chris Cole's character and personality and honour integrity, okay? We already, we, if, if you're a little bit astute, you'll be able to work out that, you know, he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't the upstanding citizen of the world that people would like to put him in in, in that line in that light because it wasn't the case okay but uh, I am a little bit annoyed with Clint Eastwood but like I said Hollywood's a tough tough industry at the moment and uh, yeah so the movie was a war propaganda movie okay and if you don't see that then um, maybe you need to do some more research